At this point, I really don't need my template image anymore because I'm finished drawing and I don't need it. So I'm going to hide that by clicking on this visibility. And I'm going to create a border. So the border is going to be the same dimensions as my artboard. So I'm going to use the, uh, the rectangle tool. And maybe what I'd like to do is, um, let's do snap to, snap to grid. Let's try that. Snap to grid makes it a little bit easier to, um, when you're drawing out your border, to it kind of Illustrator will automatically sort of snap that to the edges of your artboard, so you don't have to do too much adjustment. It's just you know that it's there. And for this, I'm going to make the fill none, and I'll make the stroke black, and I'm going to add a weight to my stroke, so. If I'm selected on the stroke swatch, I get some options up here. And you know, here's a place where I can change colors. Again, we're just sticking with black and white, so let's not change colors at this point. We're gonna stay black. But I can also change the weight style of the stroke, etc. cetera. Um, this is a really quick way to do that. So I'm going to, uh, my stroke is at one point. I'm going to change it to something heavier so that it is more part of the design. So let's see what happens if I do like 18 points. That's, that's too heavy. Let's try 8. That seems a little better. Now one thing about this stroke is that it's, um, it's centered equally. So if this is an 8 point stroke, then 4 points of that black color, or 4 points of the stroke are on the inside of my path, and 4 points are on the outside of my path. And I want this to conform to the edge of my artboard. And my path is right on the edge of the artboard. So I'm going to open up my stroke window. And I'm going to choose under align stroke. Instead of align it to center, I'm going to align it to the inside. That way the stroke is entirely within the bounds of my artboard. Now, you may choose a different thickness depending on your logo. Again, this is going to be your design, your logo, but the frame should be part of the design. Maybe I'll choose six point. All right, so we're starting to get something that looks kind of like a logo. Now, one cool thing is that this frame is separate from the object and I can actually move this around. So maybe I want to move this bottle uh, in order to fit some type or to balance out my composition a little bit. Maybe I want to move the bottle. Maybe I want to resize it, make it larger or smaller. Uh, I kind of like the way that it's breaking this frame and it is going outside the bounds of the artboard, but we can fix that later. But I, I do want this to be part of my design. So I'm just adjusting the size and position of my, my um, graphic element here, my, my bottle. 